KHON is home to a host of good local programming, and John got a chance to find out more about a show that has a ton of activities and places to see and things to do for Kapuna. We're bringing in the host of the show now, Sue Jorgensen. Thank you for being with us. Appreciate it. Thanks for having me, John. I see your commercial all the time. It's great to see you. I, I want to know why was Cool for Kupuna created? Well, Cool for Kupuna was created by the executive producer, Michael Lum, and he wanted as a way to give back to the seniors. His business is actually Premier Benefit Consultants. He's one of the owners, and Medicare is their business. So they're always taking care of seniors, and he thought, well, great way to give back and to do something special for them so he also was a producer of a couple of television shows way back when so he's drawing on that experience to to produce this show now and hopefully it's going to inspire kapuna to get out and get active do some fun you know and just discover new things every day Sue, the classmate of my auntie glor from star of the sea high school how did you get involved <laughs> i am an agent with premier benefit consultants and they asked me to to get involved because we had done some television productions before earlier and mike said oh you're relatable you're down to earth you're you're kapuna and so he asked me to get involved as a host and i was like oh man i've never done different tv but i have done um newspaper and magazine editing so he said drawing on that background in journalism can you help us out so i said well okay i'll try and it's a little bit I'm still learning, I'm growing. I mean, you know, everything is just like a learning curve and it's been a lot of fun. I'm just glad I did it. It's a lot of fun. I think you're great. And we're all still learning <laughs> every day. Yeah, yeah. Thank you for saying that. Is, is there anything unique about, about this particular show, Cool for Kapuna? Is there anything unique that you can tell us about? Well, you know, it's kind of hard to come up with new ideas nowadays, right? But what I think is unique about this show, unlike most of the Kapuna shows, it's not about how to avoid a hip fracture or how to avoid falls or how to take your medication you know that kind of stuff it's more about how to stay active how to enjoy life to the fullest how to get out into our communities and so the show is based on each show is 30 minutes it's an episode in a different neighborhood and so hopefully kapuna will watch and and, and look for their own neighborhood we're looking for places that are cool people that we meet things to do and that's a little bit different from some of the other shows that are out there I get it. it the, the title says it all. Something cool to do, something cool to see or eat. Uh, I, I love it. Um, some of the most interesting things that you folks have featured, could you tell, tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, well, we've done a few shows with some very cool people and places, but I can tell you, it's hard to say which was the coolest, but I can tell you about what's coming up. So this Sunday, we're going to be in Waipahu, and that was so much fun producing. We went to Plantation Village and I'd never been there. So they have houses recreated after the plantation, right? At different Chinese, Japanese houses. They have a museum. That was super cool for me. I'd never been. We go to Wholesale Unlimited and they have, um, of course, every snack under the sun for us Islanders. And that was fun. I didn't know they were headquartered there. And the coolest thing was Elena's restaurant. Everybody knows Filipino food, right? The best Filipino food. We went into their kitchen in their house and they actually taught us how to make some of their very uh, special original dishes, sari sari. Of course, everyone does lumpia, but they showed us how to do that quickly. And so that was fun. And we got to eat with Elena herself. You know, the founders of the restaurant around the table, we just talked story. It was amazing. It's just a lot coming up and just keep on watching is what I say because everything is unique to me. And I think hopefully our viewers will find the same thing. I think that's so great. And you're speaking of the episodes, uh, and our viewers can find these episodes, of course, on Cage One Two Sundays at 5 p.m. I want to just open it up real quick before we go. Uh, any last things you want to say about about the show? Being in my 60s, we're you know people from our from the 60s now in our 60s. That 60s is the new 40s, truly, right? So it's not just about getting older where we you know, become boring or irrelevant. We just want to stay active and learn something new every day. So my thing and my hope is that people will tune in, enjoy the show, be inspired, and get out and have some of the experiences that I have had the pleasure of having. Well, we really appreciate you being on the show and telling us all about it. Again, it's cool for Kupuna. Sue's the host. You can find it on k 2 Sundays at 5. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Thank you so much, John. It's a lot like our show. It is, but I, I like that it is inspiring seniors to get out there and uh, do things. And you know, it's uh, places to eat, places to go, mm -hmm. doing it safely, uh, and, and then obviously 
Uh, safety for Kupuna uh, means health. Mm -hmm. So I think she's doing a good job. I've gotten a chance to see a, uh, a couple of episodes um, with her brother Ben. It was pretty. It's pretty cool. It's pretty neat. Yeah. All right. Check it out. Check it out. Sunday.